Alrighty, what is up everyone? Um, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to separate your Discord and Spotify and any other application for that matter into different channels or different inputs into OBS so you can um, mix it all in real time and on the fly. I don't know if you've ever been into anyone's stream and the Discord, their Discord is louder than them speaking or their system audio is just crazy loud and you're hearing footsteps louder than them speaking. Anyway, this is going to help out. This should help out a lot of people um, that are wanting to have it just mixed and ready to go. For the purpose of this, we are going to be using a program called Voice Meter Potato. Um, a few of you might have heard of Voice Meter Banana. Voice Meter Potato is basically its uh, big brother. It came out more recently. It just has a few more hardware um, inputs and virtual hardware inputs and a few more outputs. Um, this program is donation where you can use it free for 30 days. And then after that, I think the minimum donation you need to make to continue using the product is around $8 US. So I would recommend definitely giving this a go. Um, I've obviously donated. I can't remember how much I donated. It was a while ago. It is a very, very good program and it is worth every penny, but you can give it a crack first, um, see how you go. All right, let's jump into it. First thing we're going to do is system tray, run at startup menu up there. Now, A1, I've just selected my speakers. Um, this is both my microphone and my headphones. I've got them in the one USB audio, in, USB audio interface, um, but you would just select your headphones or your speakers up here for your hardware output. I would recommend choosing WDM. Now, you can see here, I've gone ahead and labeled System, Spotify, and Discord. If you right click on these and then press enter, um, you can rename them to whatever you like. I've just named them what they are. So what I've gone and done is when I press play on Spotify, it will come through. So you can see there with Spotify, it is coming through a separate channel here and it's also um, coming into OBS here under Spotify. Um, for the purpose of this video, I've just popped out the audio mixer in OBS and I have popped out the OBS sources window just to sort of have all the information in one place. So hopefully that's a little bit easier to follow for you guys. The first thing we need to do is with Spotify, what you want to do here, once you've got voice meter potato up and running, if you press windows key and type in a sound mixer options, you will be hit with this one here. So what we want to do is we want to change our Spotify output to this one here, voice meter aux input, aux VAAO. So what that does is that sends this to our virtual input here, um, voice meter aux as well. So yeah. So in addition to seeing it here before when I was playing music, it came up on the little meter here and you can see it's recognized the Spotify, the Spotify program right on voice meter. So what these ones do here, having A1 ticked on these three channels means I can actually hear it. Um, through my headphones. If I didn't have that ticked, I wouldn't be able to hear the Spotify. Now, another cool thing you can do is, is I could actually untick this or, or adjust the volume. And once we've patched it into OBS, that will not affect the stream or it will not affect the recording. It's only going to affect what I'm hearing. Now, let's go and have a look. We'll come back to Discord in a second. Um, I've gone and named everything here just so it's all in the order that I want it to show up in the audio mixer. But what I have done, um, so sorry, sources down here, I've made an audio folder. And then what you want to do, right click, go add, add audio output capture, not input. You only want input for your mic. Audio output capture, you will be hit with this screen here. Um, for the purpose of this, I already have one. So add existing Spotify, bang, that's there. So what you'll get then is when you hit properties, you will see this screen. So this is the properties for three, Spotify. 
and we've chosen the exact same one that we chose in Windows here. Voice meter aux input aux VAIO. That is the same one. Now you can see if I play some music again, you can see it's coming through here. It's coming through here. Streams hearing it. But if I turn this down here, that's that's actually not affecting. That's not affecting that at all. In fact, I can drop it right down. I can I can mute it and it's not being affected at all. Go ahead and pause the music and that is done. That is done for your Spotify. Alrighty, now on to the Discord side of things. We can go ahead and close this down, this Windows um, sound settings down entirely because we're not going to need it. Um, open up Discord. You can actually do it inside Discord. The only reason we couldn't with Spotify, um, it doesn't give you the option to actually select the output where as Discord does. So um, navigate to voice and video. And for your output device, you want to select VAIO3 input. What that will do, um, that will come in to here, which is our VAIO3, our virtual input. Now, if we do, you're going to get a little bit of double upping on audio, but I'll show you how it works. Here we, Here go. we go. Test, test, test. test. You could see it came through, um, it came through here and it came through here. And because I have a one selected, that means I'll still be able to hear people in my headphones. Um, same thing again. So you want to select, you actually want to add an, so you would go in here, you would go into add, you would go into audio output capture. That's it there. This is the properties for my output capture. And as the device I want to choose for the output capture, I actually want to select that same again. What is there? VAIO3 input. Bang, done in OBS. In here, A1 selected. I'm hearing it. We're good. We are good to go. Um, I've actually got a lot of my volumes locked. This is a pretty cool feature they've just added into, well, recently added into OBS. But yeah, so I've already adjusted things basically to the way that I like them. But you can go ahead and I'd, I'd recommend doing a few test recordings and, and seeing where you end up. For me, I found this to be the simplest and cleanest way to split everything out in OBS. I previously used Voice Meter Banana, but to achieve more than one extra program to split out, you'd have to install a separate pro program called Virtual Audio Cable. Um, it could get messy and it confused things even more for myself. So I decided to upgrade to a Voice Meter Potato and it has really really simplified everything as it's all can be done in the one package. Alrighty, that is it. I hope you liked the video. If you would like to come and watch me on Twitch or if you have any more questions about voice meter or voice meter potato in particular or OBS for that matter, I am always happy to answer questions live on stream. Um, yeah, it's a good, good way to interact and help people out that way. I will leave some links below as to where you can find and download Voice Meter Potato and where you can find me on Twitch. If there's anything that wasn't clear or anything I might have missed, please feel free to leave a comment below. Um, hit that like button if this helped you out. Anyway, until next time guys, thanks for tuning in.